All right, I know you guys haven't seen me here in vlog form in a while, but uh, today I'm about to go do something that I never ever thought that I would actually get a chance to do. I am going to go and do a DJ Vlad interview. Step up on the scene, diamond blendy, whole screen. Check a boy, Louis V. I'm so fresh and so clean, clean. I actually hung out with Vlad a couple months ago. We went out to eat, we got some Chinese food together. I think he's a good guy. I know there's a lot of people who got negative things to say about him and stuff, but there's plenty of people who got negative things to say about me too. And through having that conversation with him, it just sort of cemented in my mind how important doing this content about rap stuff is. All right, so I uh, just did my DJ Vlad interview. I uh, didn't even try to get him on camera because I know he's not a big fan of being in front of the camera, but that went pretty good. Actually, maybe I should have asked him to be on camera because I know he's been doing the videos about stocks and shit. Anyway, did a good interview. Uh, now I gotta head back to the store. I just wanna confess to you guys that I've been like outrageously late with listening to all the cool new hip hop releases. I'm really failing you guys. Last night, I listened to the Juice World album a couple times. I'm fucking with it. On the way here, I listened to the Fat Man Key album. Really fucking with it. And now, on the way back now, I'm listening to the new Pusha T and possibly also the new Rocky. Because I'm trying to stay educated. Cannot let myself fall out of sync with all these hot new rap releases. I gotta have an opinion on shit. And I'm fucking late. So, just so you know. If there's anything else I need to listen to, there's probably all kinds of shit I'm already forgetting about. Let me know. I'm really committed to making a vlog today, so I just want to show you guys what I'm eating. I've got like this chunk of chicken. It was about twice as big before. Got some rice, and we got some broccoli. This is what I uh, arrived at. I was just in the mood for something kind of bland and simple. Anyway, Wi Fi's funeral is about to be here. Interviewed him back in the day, about to do an exposed. And then after that, we got a, uh, an Adam 22 show, but man. I just found out the craziest shit ever about what I'm doing Thursday. Somebody's album comes out Thursday and somebody's going to the listening party, so. And you know we gotta cut the heads off these snakes, right? No cosign, but I'm hanging out with Lozanne and we're watching the fucking Pusha T. Drake this. This shit, this shit is offensive. Shout out to everything. Shout out to everything, good music, everyone. Does anyone else think it's weird that the two biggest Tupac haters on earth. Both have songs called Betrayed. Nah, for real though. Much love to Tupac. Talk to Tupac. Tupac is a fucking legend. Don't listen to this man, bro. Thank you for clarifying that for the vlog. Gotta, gotta get it out there. We're in on Wi-Fi right now. I just realized he has a show in Santa Ana tonight with Puya. So he's making a trek to do this interview. I appreciate it. New store in the works. Wafa's funeral outside. Bobby, how you doing, Bobby? There you go. What's up, G? What's up, man? No time no see. Sprite in hand. Obey your thirst. Hey. Uh, no, we're just switching it up. What up, Bobby? How you doing? It's nice, man. Thank you, man. Work in progress. I gotta take a fucking breather out here. I ain't been out this door in a minute because we've been working on the store for so long. It's coming along, though. We about to get exposed, right, Chris? Talk about the fuck going on, a whole lot of gang shit, bitch. Ethan, they're coming soon, fuck nigga. For the second time, because we did one back in the day. I know you remember, but we're coming back because he's still dropping heat. Let's I'm go. not gonna fall asleep this time. <laughs> oh my god, that's a story. <laughs> Never thought I would meet this motherfucker till today. How you living? Yeah. Just like that. What's going on? Not much, man. Really? Chilling. You want to get an interview? You want me to get an Let's do it. Let's do it. Fire. Perfect. We got it all set up and everything. Wi Fi, your interview was fire. I just want to throw that out there. Hey, man, I appreciate that shit, man. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate that. You a lot. Hey, yo. You know who's got yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's take a photo against the wall. I want to try to get us all a yeah, photo. Dude, that's pretty. Like a we're a whole bunch of memes all together, man. We got to do this shit. <laughs> you gonna bust the, the Black Boy JB dance now that you got the fucking swag? I can't, I can't do that, man. It's a great dance, but I can't do it. I believe you can do it. I have, I have a lot of faith in you. I've seen him doing it. I would embarrass myself. Nah, nah, nah. I don't worry about it. You're a Nate right there. Wi-Fi. Hey, swag gang. Okay. Swag gang. Shout out, boy. Dancing with a gun in a pot. 
Or actually, just a pot. There's no guns in this video. So, got all those scrubs out of here, and now we are about to hop on Adam 22 Show, episode 8, featuring Hakeem, Jason, who once fired Hakeem, and Chris Long. Yeah. So, we're going to get real, real interpersonal. We're about That's to get on this. Great point. I didn't even think about that. Yup. I love that. We just already <laughs> talked outside. Yeah, 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 Y'all know about to run this Wait, narrative yeah. right now. We already talked. We niggas already talked. No beef. We're gonna fucking bring up the no drama. Beef. No beef. No beef. All right, Chris Long rolling a blunt no, 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 no. because he's a drug addict. Hey, hey, hey. We've been on stream. Well, two hours on this stream, and then we did probably another two hours before that. So a little four-hour stream. No big deal. Uh, talking, about talking about emotes. Talking about emotes. Talking about just. Whatever we just watched a video about how much money H3H3 makes. I don't know why that shows how deep and like terrible into the internet we are right now that we're just watching videos about how much money other people make. That's for no like reason. for no reason. Give people uh, on the internet money. Yeah, give people on the internet money. That's right. Some people in the chat were just saying that I should start a Patreon. I was like, that's really not. It's a much worse idea than you think. I tried that before. Anyway, I'm about to go home and uh, see if my girlfriend will give me some fruit. Back home with Bay. How you doing? Besides these terrible menstrual cramps, I'm good. Yes, my girlfriend menstruates. And it means I'm not pregnant. It means there's no babies in me. It's a fact of Every life. Every month is a disappointment. Oh God, she's <laughs> freaking me out. I'm scared now. <laughs> then don't go on Twitter because I made a joke yeah, about your tweet. I saw. <laughs> you didn't like it? She's a creep. All right, another day in the life here. Uh, yesterday, I got a text in from- In eight miles, oh. turn right onto Arlington Avenue. All right, back on the grind. Yesterday, I got a uh, call from Stat Quo, who is Lil Xan's manager. Lil Xan just stopped by the store yesterday with Wi-Fi's funeral to hang out for a little bit. And uh, Stat was like, yo, there's Hearing this thing. Been updated because of the time -based anyway, I was uh, hanging out with Lil Xan, and Stat was like, yo, can you do this interview for Vivo or some shit today, tomorrow, today, in Long Beach? And I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Fuck it. So here I am, driving my ass down to Long Beach. I had to cancel a bunch of other stuff in the middle of the day today. But I'm headed down there. I'm gonna do this little Zan interview for something. And then uh, tonight, doing an interview with Tato. We're gonna find out some shit. So let's go. Stat just picked me up outside. Got a little loss on the way here. He was getting me a uh, Long Beach address. Turns out this is in Compton, not Long Beach. Although I am here and I'll admit that it is Long Beach. I've been here before. It is Long Beach, but for some reason, GPS said Compton, whatever. Maybe it's right on the edge. Either way, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Apparently, I gotta do, I gotta play mini golf or something. I don't know if I'm waiting on Zan or what the fuck is going on, but I'm doing something down here. You're on YouTube, guys, just so you know. They said my outfit looks really good, like with the stuff that's behind me. It makes sense to me now. All right, Lil Zane, yeah, little, we out. Lil Zane. Lil Zane. Hey, look, show him the uh, mini golf course I'm building. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's building this by hand. He's by been working hand. on it for a long time, 18 holes. And a lot of Chinese. And look, he pulled people. up with this weirdly rolled backwood. I was like, bro, I got to give you a bare wood. I got to give you a pre-rolled one. Shout out to my uncle. We're actually related. I just stood here and talked about him. Do you th How do you feel about my review of you as a human being? <laughs> Yo, I had to watch Adam talk, talk about me for like 10 minutes. I felt kind of bad. But I like the things he said, and they're very accurate and true. Uh, it's my brother. I like the part where I was comparing you to Adele. We're on the same label, so I'm... And the same level of talent and hey, kind of similar if, body type. If you're watching this, Adele... I hope you get older and get a little thick, a little BBW status. <laughs> no? Okay, pause. <laughs> <laughs> Later, my Foo. Voice is gone, bro. Big Foo. Big A Foo. <laughs> Vlog, and he's got the awesome shit merchandise on. Oh, you got that scumbag. Yo, I wore it last night at the show. I wore the, the beanie oh, and the hoodie. Oh my god. But then it got too hot and I had to take that shit. I'm gonna go hang out with Tato. Oh, for real? I killed people. Yeah, I gotta go interview him. Oh, right now. Oh, right now? Yeah. Oh, you get to go home? I think, right? I'm done. Dude, you're all done. I'm bro! done. <laughs> I, I gotta be here till 8 fucking 30, bro. <laughs> you sound like you were screaming all night, too. Uh, I was. Yeah. Ah! So that was a fun little uh, project. Am I going the wrong way to get out of here? Yes, I am. Okay, that was a fun little project. <clears throat> You'll see that dropping soon. Lil Zan doing a little bit of image rehab after his recent uh, events that he's been dealing with. I was glad to be a part of it. 
And uh, now I got to drive all the way back to motherfucking LA to go do this Tato interview, which I just got confirmed is actually happening. I just want to say that so far we haven't gone anywhere or done any Tato related stuff yet. So we're in here watching Chris Johnson's Eddie's part. And uh, yeah, Swab is here. Looking like a thought. I'm a thought today. Big thoughts. Big thought, big best thought. Hakeem's lady friend over here. What's your name? Allie, Versace Collage. Allie, Allie, Hakeem's friend. All right, now I'll remember because it's in the vlog. All right. All right, so we're killing time because I'm pretty sure that we're not doing this thing with Tato or whatever. So I'm really trying to film an Instagram clip where I throw this ball and get it into the fucking no jumper basketball hoop. And I've been trying it for probably damn near a half hour and I just can't get it. I'm trying to do it from like far away. So I was filming it. Trash. My skill set is horrible. I did the trick, but it took me like... What, how long do you think it took, or how many tries? 45 minutes. No, it took probably 25 minutes, right? Anyway. I did it in like two minutes. Two minutes, yeah, we're fucking right. Suave? Oh, you did? Yeah, Suave and Chris both did it in like two minutes, so. The no jumper name is a real thing, bro. Like, I know that that's a hard shot to make because it's so small, but I am trash. I have no fucking skills when it comes to fucking basketball of any kind. But I do have this one that Jason said he was going to pump up. Apparently that didn't happen. Shout out to the Amos Stilo dudes. I really got to say that. Shout out to them because they gave me this, but they didn't, like, put air in it. And that was months ago, and I still haven't put air in it, which is kind of disrespectful. But I swear, we're going to find some air soon. We're going to find some PSI, and we're also going to do another event with them. Back home on the couch with Bay. Hi. Too tired to even get up and turn on the light. Uh, we're just lounging, chilling, cuddled up, just young and in love, you know? Well, she's a little young, I'm old. What'd you eat today? What'd I eat today? Not a ton. It smells delicious. I did have some of those bagel bites earlier, I can't even lie. I think I just like the smell of your breath, is that weird? Yes. Correction, we ordered Bossa Nova, and we're smashing it, and it's fucking great. I feel like this is my first time having it. She says I've had it before, we I don't think so. went on a date, you got salmon. <laughs> Probably. Oh, <laughs> right on Hollywood Boulevard? Mm, a long well. time ago, when, when I first, first started started managing X and shit, mm -hmm. uh, I remember that conversation actually because you got sad because I told you I was going to have to go on tour with them. Mm -hmm. Funny how these things work. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's continue to devour this food. <clears throat> We're going to Wyoming tomorrow. Peace. Step up on the scene, diamond, blend the whole screen. Check a boy, Louis V. Also fresh and so clean, clean.